So McDonald was on his way. He jumped off Autumn Glow, he went back to the room and he came out and he was greeted with Fangirl. And here is the seven stakes. The million dollar race at Wait for Age, which replaces the George Main, which is now the King Charles, which is now on Everest Day. And this wasn't an ideal setup for Fangirl. No, it wasn't, but she's done this. This is a mile where, and she's a man, you can sort of give her a click up down the side there and she gets on their backs yeah. anyway. So. She's just, uh, I thought, probably the best win of the day, um, considering circumstances and yep. she had it all to do, and, and she did it. I know that we said the track race fairly fair, but the more I've done the replays this morning, it was actually a little bit hard to make ground. There yep. wasn't too many, and a little bit the same. Rachel got up in front, done a thing, controlled the race well, but um, I actually thought, oh, about the 700 metre mark, J-Mac will be absolutely, you know, fuming of the position that he was in but he was I think he was lucky in a little way that it was a small field and he didn't have too much to gather up like he did first up but um she was at a brilliant best there I thought yesterday she was really good yeah I think she was helped by royal patronage missing the start and getting uh, <laughs> and going making the move helping her yeah. blend into the race but uh look she's just a class act yep. the, the the mystery of the race is who got you. she she went awful which is not in her makeup and Hinge wasn't much better, so... And especially Zoo Gotcha, Ronnie. Yeah. Sorry to jump in, but the position that Tommy had, and I'm thinking that the halfway mark, I'm thinking, Jay Mack, you guys want to get on your bike. This, you know, we've seen how tough she was first up, Zoo Gotcha, and she was just really plain. I don't know what the stewards report well, it's had it, to it, say. The, the post-race veterinary examination did not reveal any abnormalities. Yeah, maybe, maybe just that second up syndrome. Yeah, so out up, of context right? for her. Yeah. Um, and there was money for this um, Royal Oberon, my Oberon, sorry, and he ran a really good race. So he's back on, he's back on track. He's run some really nice races in good company uh, throughout his career, and he there might be a decent win in him somewhere. I'll tell you the one that I want to follow this preparation, <laughs> Navajo Peak. Last preparation was I know absolutely awful, but there's a hundred one there yesterday. Still got a lot of sort of like tidying up to do coat wise as well as you know look soft in the enclosure but I thought it was a pretty good run for a hundred to one chance actually run all right yeah he can pull a run out fresh mm. and then he certainly did again there um, yesterday but oh, look look at this man she's a, <laughs> she's just one of a kind she's a beauty uh, now three dollars fifty in the King Charles the third pride of Jenny is the two dollar fifty favorite in front of fangirl uh, then you've got Mr Brightside at 4.50, Celestial Legend, Lesbridge still up in the air as to which way to go, whether it is an Epsom or a King Charles III en route to a yep. Golden Eagle, which is his main aim. And, and Broadsiding still in the picture, but he'll be first up in the Golden Rose on Saturday, and we'll talk about that Golden Rose a little bit later.